Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. So today we are tapping back into the saga of Ernesto Williams. Ernest Williams, who seems to be loving the limelight, is now shining bright like a diamond because we are probably finding out more about his life than he ever would have imagined. The man who has been writing a book about his life while in jail and wanting to turn it into a movie doesn't have to look much further. The motion picture is playing right before our very own eyes. The police initially went after Ernest for bad checks and rental fraud, but uncovered an elaborate scheme of stolen cars, womanizing to the 10th power, tricking women out of their hard earned money, sex trafficking, rape, and from what I'm hearing, Ernesto might be getting hit with a Rico. We are going to get into that and so much more, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this case and so much more. Now let's get back into it. So we are going to pick up right where we left off with Mr. Ernesto. So in our last video, we learned about Missy, who is a school teacher who initially wasn't interested in Ernesto because he was married, but later she let down her guard, her draws. She opened up her wallet and gave Ernest thousands of dollars and access to her credit cards and even gave up her car. Everyone was like, oh my God, what is it about this man? Well, I have another story for you that will blow your mind. But before before we get into that, I do want to get into this. I do personally feel like Ernest felt like the walls were closing in on him. We all know that he was arrested July 7, 2022, but in April 2022, just three months earlier, Ernest filed for Chapter 13 bankruptcy. And in that bankruptcy, he stated that he lived at 2155 Bent Creek Manor, although he and Shirley were evicted from that home just three weeks prior. They asked if he was renting the property, and he said no. They asked if the landlord had an eviction judgment against him and he said no which was a lie he had no more than 49 creditors and owed between fifty thousand and a hundred thousand dollars in debt now the only two creditors he had listed was atlanta fine cars and Lara's trucks and if you remember in our last video ernest kept making payments to Lara's trucks from Missy's credit cards. Ernest paid a total of $3,817.12 to Lars Trucks from Missy's credit cards. So obviously this is some type of auto loan he owed for, but I do feel like Ernest knew the rubber was about to meet the road very soon and he was trying to handle things beforehand and he knows that poor Shirley didn't know her hand from her foot when it comes to handling bills and finances. So Ernest was trying to get the ball rolling and get things handled, but unfortunately he did not file the necessary paperwork. So ultimately this chapter 13 bankruptcy was denied. Now we are going to get into the story of a lady who I am going to name Miss Gloria. I'm naming her that for privacy purposes. We are not going to give out any of the names of the alleged victims. Okay, so let's get into the story. So on October 13, 2022, at approximately 0800 hours, Detective Gooden was present with Officer Natalie Fields for an interview of Miss Gloria at Roswell Police Department. Officer Fields identified Miss Gloria as another fraud or theft victim of Ernest during the investigation. Gloria advised that sometime around 2000. 2009 2010 during the housing market crash she met williams in atlanta georgia while she was looking for investors to help her launch a new business plan locally during that period she got to know williams but stepped away from him after his continued solicitation for money Gloria advised that she did loan Williams $1,000 and he paid it back as agreed. Gloria knew that Williams was married to Kara Lamar at that time and was operating a barber shop. During 2015, Gloria ran into Williams in Atlanta. Williams advised he had a new business which he wanted to show Gloria. Gloria agreed to meet Williams at his barber shop located on Peachtree Street near Far Road. Williams' business at the time involved private coaches, motorhomes. Williams told Gloria he was looking for investors for his new business. Williams also told Gloria that he was getting married and that Gloria knows who he was marrying. Gloria told Williams she was unfamiliar with his fiance but congratulated him. Williams told Gloria that he was engaged to Shirley Strawberry. Gloria was unfamiliar with Shirley Strawberry and Williams explained that she was from the Steve Harvey show. Gloria then congratulated Williams again. Williams then asked Gloria about her business interests and Gloria told him that she is doing the same thing she was doing when they previously met. Gloria advised that the meeting 
meeting with Williams concluded and she went on her way. Williams later connected with Gloria on Instagram and advised that his phone number was or is blank. During 2018, Williams contacted Gloria via Instagram and requested Gloria's phone number, which she supplied. During June of 2021, Williams contacted Gloria again and requested her phone number, which she supplied again. Williams then called Gloria from his phone and during that conversation, Gloria advised that she is still working in real estate and was looking to venture out and establish herself as a builder and own her own company. Williams asked Gloria if Gloria needed anything. Gloria explained that what she needed was to connect with people with certain skill sets that would help her business. Williams continued to push and began asking about funding the project, at which point Williams sold Gloria on his ability to get investors. Gloria accepted Williams' offer to help her find investors willing to assist with getting her new business started. Additionally, Gloria accepted Williams' help with helping her find a commercial location that she would use to operate her business. Gooden asked why she went to Williams and she advised that she went to and trusted Williams because he appeared to have improved his life and now had the right relationships to be successful and believed he would introduce her to investors, people with money, for her project at the time. Gloria explained that Williams told her it was going to be a process and convinced her that she needed to change her image so that she could go to the next level. Williams then convinced Gloria to front monies for his services and payments to assistance that would go towards the total package that she would be receiving. Gloria was asked what she thought the package included and she advised that she believed she would be getting help with locating and acquiring office space and investors. Williams also convinced her that she needed a different car and a motor coach to meet with clients. At the time, Gloria owned a 2021 Mercedes Benz that was without a lien. Williams convinced her to sign the title to her 2021 Mercedes Benz so that he could sell or trade it for another vehicle for her to help improve her image. Williams sent his assistant, Alasia Alexander, aka Dominique, to pick up her Mercedes. Gloria advised that there was a ball unknown black male with her. On June 23, 2021, Gloria secured three cashier's checks from her BBNT account that were made payable to Daniil Dranones, later changed to Daniil Diamonds for $20,000, Alasia Alexander for $6,000, and Olivia Washington for $5,000. Gooden later found Daniil Diamonds & Co. is located in America's Mart in Atlanta. Note, Williams told Gloria to issue another check to Daniil Diamonds, to which Gloria contacted BBNT to authorize the issuance of a new check. Gooden contacted Daniil Diamonds and spoke with the owner, and she recalled Williams coming into the store and tendering the check for merchandise. Legal process for information about the transaction is forthcoming. Oh, and they said they're going to get my um, wedding ring, too. What are you talking about? Why do you say, why, when I tell you something, why do you say that? Because I'm just telling you what they told me. They said they're going to come and get it. Um, I got it from Danielle Diamonds, and, and they, the $20,000 that she put on that, they, they're going to get the stop ring, talking, too. Stop talking, stop talking, stop talking on the phone. Stop talking on the phone. Uh, they said it's for the victims. They may need it to, to pay back the victims, some of the victims. And whoever this is. Hey, 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 no, they, they lying. On June 29, 2021, Williams purchased, in the name of Nesto's Elite Private Security LLC, a 1998 Prevost Royale coach for $90,000 from Wildcat RVs in Corbin, Kentucky. To complete that transaction, Williams convinced Gloria to send $90,000 to Wildcat RV sales. Gloria wired $70,000 from her BB&T business account and $20,000 from her Chase personal account to Wildcat RV sales business account on June 29, 2021. Again, Gloria was led to believe that this vehicle purchase was intended for her to meet with future clients. Gloria was opposed to Williams putting this vehicle in his business name and requested that he transfer it to her name. He never did. Gloria traveled with Williams to Destin, Florida so that she could get in the water and cleanse herself so that she could move forward. If you're out here in this water out here, in this green, green water out here, you want to get you some more money. You got to sit out here and rinse yourself off. Ask God to forgive you for any sins you have done in the past. Move forward. Move forward. Don't allow yourself to get caught up in the past. The past will never, never come back. Move forward to the future. Ask God to forgive you. Move forward. That's what I do. I get rid of all, anything that I don't need to help me move forward. I get in this water twice a year. Ask God to forgive me. Why don't you try it? This is my key to success. 
On August 21, 2021, Williams purchased in the name of Nesto's Elite Private Security, LLC, a 2002 Prevost Liberty for $210,000 from Premium Coach Group in Gilbert, Arizona. That transaction included the trade-in of the 1998 Prevost Royale he purchased with Gloria's money on June 29, 2021 and Gloria's 2021 Mercedes-Benz. Paid in full on May 13, 2021 in the amount of $70,410.53. Those two vehicles gave him a trade-in credit of $150,000 per premium coach group. The remaining $60,000 was provided in the following manner. During August 21, 2021, Williams provided $10,000 cash and wrote a check in the amount of $50,000 drawn on SunTrust account belonging to Nesto's Elite Private Security, LLC. That check was later returned or rejected as non sufficient funds. On September 15, 2021, Williams initiated a wire to Premium Coach Group for $20,000 from his SunTrust account belonging to Ernest L. Williams. On October 4th, 2021, Williams initiated a wire to Premium Coach Group for $30,000 from SunTrust account belonging to Nesto's Elite Private Security. Williams never informed or consulted with Gloria about this transaction. Williams later showed Gloria the 2002 Prevost Liberty and told her he upgraded her with a newer coach. Again, Williams registered and bought this vehicle in the name of Nesto's Elite Private Security, LLC. On June 30th, 2022, just seven days before Williams was arrested, Williams purchased in the name of Nesto's Elite Private Security LLC, a 2021 Mercedes-Benz G550 truck for $189,165 from Wade Ford in Smyrna, Georgia. That transaction included the trade of the 2002 Prevost Liberty, value given $165,000, and a 2009 Freightliner business class, value given $28,000. During Williams' arrest on July 7, 2022, he had a key for a Mercedes G-Wagon in his belongings. Williams explained that he just purchased that vehicle for his wife's birthday. Williams is married to Shirley Strawberry and her birthday is July 28, 1954. Police picked up my truck today. What truck? What do you mean what they truck? They your white truck? truck? Yeah. What? Yeah. Why would they do that? They said it's being used in the investigation. Wow. 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 Yeah. What? Yeah, they came to the salon where I was, and they, um, they, um, you know, waited outside for me. When I got ready to go, they blocked me in, and it was a tow truck there, a flatbed, and they put they put the truck on the flatbed. What? What kind of shit is that? Gloria was never informed by Williams of this transaction after repeated attempts to have her car and or money returned to her after Williams failed to deliver services he convinced her he could provide. Gloria has provided text messages that reflect her communication with Williams about their business and her demands to return her property due to him misleading or defrauding her. Based on the information contained herein, I believe that Ernest L. Williams, aka Nesto Williams, aka Nesto, intentionally deceived Gloria as to his ability to assist her with local locating investors for her business proposal and intentionally took or obtained her property as discussed herein through a deceitful means with intention of depriving the owner Gloria of $191,410.53 of property. I obtained warrants for Williams for three felonies of theft by deception. So from the looks of her picture, Gloria is an older lady that seemed to be a believer in second chances and honestly thought Ernesto was different, but in all honesty, Ernest did not change at all. This man literally used her to provide a better life for his wife, who Gloria didn't even know. Not only did she provide the funds for Shirley's ring, but she also provided the funds for Shirley's G-Wagon. I don't know how long Ernest thought that he could defraud people without getting caught, but I have a feeling that he knew his time was running out. Now he's up a creek without a paddle and thinks he's gonna get some type of bond. It's going to be crazy to see how the rest of this story plays out. In the meantime, in between time, what I need to do is hear from you. What do you think about everything going on in the crazy world of Ernesto and Shirley Strawberry. Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. As Bye. always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.